Hi Scorpio, welcome to your March New Love Tarot reading. So Scorpio, we're looking at what love is coming in for you, your future love, your next person. And this is open to uh, whatever comes out except for any past energies. This definitely could be somebody maybe you know but never been uh, romantically involved with. It could be maybe somebody new that you're dating, getting to know. It also could be maybe a crush or a missed opportunity, crush or a missed opportunity or something like that as well. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Scorpio, if it doesn't resonate, uh, totally fine. You can just leave it for someone else. You can also check out um, other readings on the channel too if you would like to. But welcome in, Scorpio. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right. Scorpio. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome in. Thank you. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. So we have the Quantum Oracle here. So we're going to pull some energies out regarding mostly looking at what's coming in for you. We're going to look at that mostly. And then we're going to clarify these cards with the Arcanum Tarot. And then we have the Spare Messages at the end to get more messages. So let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. We have, ooh, Commitment. Well, now we have three events. Three is Growth Expansion. Hmm. Okay, increase three, another three, growth expansion. Now, if this is a new connection that you've just made. Um, it could be that as well, but let's see. Decrease, hmm, interesting. Decrease four, is stability foundation. And we have dark thoughts, three. A lot of fours and threes. You have three threes and a four. Well, I like this right off the bat, but then I don't like this because I feel like somebody getting some fear-based energy here and then um, negative thoughts maybe and then things, you know, kind of changing. But, oh boy. All right. Let's see. All right, Scorpio. So what we're going to do here is, oh my gosh, if you see that door opening, it's my cat in and out, in and out, in and out. So I may be up and down. I just don't like to keep the store shut so that we can keep uh, the noise out. Sorry. All right. Scorpio. So let's clarify. Oh, if I keep the door shut, he'll just scratch it. <laughs> scratch it, scratch it, scratch it. So anyway. So let's clarify these energies here. Let's clarify these energies. If this could be uh, some of your energy too, Scorpio. So, I mean, you could meet somebody here where... It um, develops very quickly, and then that may bring up some fear-based energy. So, let's see. Oh my god, Nine of Swords. So yeah, fear of commitment. Who has fear? But the fire, the passion, and the attraction is here. Now, I was mostly looking at this other person's energy, so let's see. Justice. Could be somebody that works in the Justice Department in some way, shape, or form. It could be a lawyer. Or something like that. Seven of Swords. I feel like this is someone who is very committed to their um, career as well. Empress. And the King of Swords reversed. Huh. What I feel like, um, Scorpio. We do kind of have some instant attraction here. I do feel like this this could be somebody who is a business owner, entrepreneur, in some way, shape, or form as well. Someone very attractive. So they could have been divorced in the past. Um, you may actually meet this person through some sort of legalities or something like that as well. Because we, we do have justice here and the empress. I, I do feel like... King of Swords Reverse. I'm kind of feeling like sometimes with these new love readings when I get the communication cards, like the King, Queen of Swords, stuff like that in reverse. Someone that you don't know, you never met. So I do believe this is someone totally new. I feel like this person, um, they could be they could be a little little bit wary um, of commitment. And I know I probably, well, I don't want that. But, um, you know, maybe they're recently divorced, like I said, and maybe they've been through some things. But, I mean, I feel like they're going to see you as very tempting, um, alluring, this Empress energy. Very attracted to you, no doubt about it, with the Queen of Wands here. Let's see, we have Aries, Libra, Libra Taurus, Gemini. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. 
two of pentacles this person may you know say they just started a new career or they're very successful right now i kind of feel like this person is very committed to their work uh and their success so they may have a little fear-based energy about um going all into a relationship how to balance that energy i'm feeling could be something about traveling too so you may meet this person through traveling moving commuting or something like that as well hmm okay so i'm feeling like there's going to be a connection made here and i'm gonna feel and i'm also feeling like okay the connection is made there's chemistry chemistry attraction whatever flirting happening um but then also in hindsight i think this person's also going to say to themselves i don't know if i actually have time to fit you know dating somebody or getting to know somebody into my life especially if they're very successful and uh, committed to their work but let's see i'm not so sure this person is afraid of commitment i just think they're not sure how committed they can be to a relationship if they are so committed to their work but let's see maybe you could change them but let's see let's see what this increase is for you scorpio oh my god ace of cups oh so yeah there's going to be something developing here definitely here six of cups could be children involved as well i don't think it's anyone from the past i don't page of wands that's definitely new too a lot of flirting talking five of swords hmm, okay let's see king of wands oh we got a match king queen of wands let's see six of wands i'm definitely feeling like this person could be at the most successful point in their life right now that they've ever been in then all of a sudden they meet you and there's definitely um a lot of chemistry happening here now if you haven't met anyone if you have some sort of um anything coming up regarding legalities or something regarding paperwork contracts doesn't know always have to be like the justice system legalities court blah 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 this can mean you know maybe you're going to go do your income tax you're going to meet somebody so it could be uh, contracts documents paperwork um things of that nature as well so pay attention to like if you haven't met anyone you're like well i haven't met if, if you're doing anything regarding that um pay attention to the people around you because i feel like you're going to meet this actually could be the person helping you with your income tax helping you with some sort of contracts or something like that you know and i'm feeling like this person um i don't like the five of swords here um because that this person just could feel um i don't want to say defeated but sometimes that could be defeat that could be you know stabbed in the back a lot of not a great energy with the five of swords could be sabotage i'm feeling like this person is afraid of sabotage in their career not that th this just could be a lot of fear based energy but i'm i'm also getting the energy here scorpio that you actually could change this person's mind and make them forget all these fear based worries about oh my god i can't you know because of my career when they're going to realize you know what what is the life without love if I don't invite that in and all I'm focused on is work, what, where, where is that going to lead me? So that's kind of what I'm feeling here. Wow. All right. So let's see. We have uh, Leo Sag. All right. Very successful energy here too with the six of wands. Same. Five of wands. Yeah. Kind of push and pull here. So there could be conflict, but something is meant to move forward here with the wheel of fortune, fate, destiny, divine timing, things meant to be again there's that back and forth energy again with the uh chariots so all right i think that there's going to be a strong connection established here feelings are going to grow and they're going to forget all their worries about uh not having time because they're so they may just be an overworker or something like that all right, so someone here definitely could have children. Maybe they have children or you have children with the Six of Cups here. Very, Maybe a very familiar feeling between the two of you as well. 
uh, you may feel like, oh my God, this feels like an old friend I haven't seen in forever. So there may be like that instant um, chemistry or camaraderie between the two of you where you just all of a sudden you get along and it's just your personalities just fit like perfect together. All right. Seven of Wands in reverse. So we're asking about decrease now. So let's see. That may actually be different than what I'm actually thinking. So let's see. We got the Hermit. So I see them doing a lot of thinking about this. Eight of Swords. Yeah, kind of. There's that stuck energy in our head. About dating. Three Cups in reverse. So I definitely feel like... Um, let's get a few more out here. So say you meet this person and you decide to like go on a date or hang out or go for a drink i don't know something and maybe you're seeing each other freak you know quite a quite a bit and then all of a sudden that may lessen a little bit with three cups reverse because it's my courting dating getting to know card where you may find yourself like not seeing this person as often it's kind of what i'm feeling page of pentacles but they're going to come around again so like say this is somebody new or um five of cups i kind of feel like this person if they kind of pull back their energy, I mean, the Hermit can be that kind of energy. I am getting a very single energy here, so, which is good. We have the Hermit, which is single. Um, maybe a pullback of energy, because I do feel the Seven of Wands in reverse is kind of being open, vulnerable, letting down our guard. So where they seemed open and vulnerable before, and you were seeing a lot of this person, they may kind of get in their head again, and you may not see them as much. But then they're going to realize here, Five of Cups, you know, I really enjoy Scorpio. I enjoy their company. We get along so good. We have a great time. I kind of miss, I miss Scorpio. You know, Five of Cups here. I miss Scorpio. And then what happens here? Here they are again. You know, let's, let's go out again. Let's have some fun. Let's go on another date. So I think if they pull back their energy, I think they're going to definitely come back around here. And they're going to realize, you know, life can't be all about just work. That's kind of what I feel here. So we do have Capricorn, Virgo up there. Devil, yeah, there's those dark thoughts right there. You know, fear, stress, worry, anxiety, negative thinking, pessimism, that kind of energy. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They could have had a nasty marriage in the past, too. They definitely are divorced, though, or single. You know, and maybe, maybe that sometimes weighs heavy on their mind here. Nine of Wands. But, um... We're going to see. All right, Scorpio. So let's see what these dark thoughts are for you, Scorpio. What does this mean about this person? Definitely the Empress here is the birth of something new as well. So same. Okay, so what are these dark thoughts, Scorpio? Four wants reverse. Hmm. Now that upright can be commitment, marriage, um, you know, stability, home. Two of Pentacles, up and down energy. There's that two of Pentacles showing up again. Knight of Cups, here we are, Scorpio. Six of Swords, reverse. That could be the return. So I'm not feeling like this person. Um, I'm feeling like if they, if they do pull back a little bit, they're going to come back around here. Definitely here with the Knife of Cups and the Six of Swords reverse. I definitely feel like they're going to... I definitely feel like they don't have any kind of... Um, I don't see them committed to anything but work right now. Not the Four of Wands reverse. I mean, that's kind of what I feel. And there's that up and down energy. Hmm, I don't know. But then here comes the Knight of Cups in, you know... Things moving forward, courting, dating, getting to know. Six of Swords, definitely more of their energy coming back around because sometimes I take that Six of Swords when it's upright of moving away from something. When it's in reverse, I feel it's coming back. Or it could be a little bit stuck. Uh, definitely, we got you right here, Scorpio. So definitely they're going to be stuck on you here with the Six of Swords reverse and the Knight of Cups. So it may seem, you know... Maybe a little challenging at first, but I think it's definitely going to change Knight of Swords in reverse. So this person may just want to take it slow. They don't want to rush anything. Five of Wands. Yeah, so there's that push and pull. So we got uh, Aquarius, Scorpio showing up here. Two of Wands, but it's about choosing a path and moving forward. 
and Knight of Wands taking action. I don't always get that as a player in the King of Cups, yeah. So I feel like they're gonna choose, they're gonna choose, that could be you, Scorpio, choose to let 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 love into their life because meeting you definitely is gonna change their mind regard regarding just being totally committed to work and like nothing else, you know, not having time. Especially, like I said, if they've been through something nasty in the past, we did see that devil. But I don't always take the Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands as a player. Sometimes it's just someone being strong, great, and brave. Um, making big bold moves, making things happen, taking action, because there's love here developing, that is for sure. That's Pisces, or it could be you, Scorpio. High Priestess. So trusting intuition, higher knowing. They may try to keep their feelings a secret, but I don't think they're going to be able to here because there is so much chemistry. Yeah, they may try to, you know, hold back, but... Um, I don't think they'll be able to actually hear. We got Pisces showing. We are in Pisces season right now. So if you haven't met this person or say you just met them recently, um, that could be happening very soon for you if it has not already. All right. So let's see. If it did resonate, please do, you know, comment, give it a like, all that good, great stuff. You know what to do if you'd like to. be greatly appreciated. All right, if you're interested in the decks I have here or anything else, you can check my website. Everything's below. My website's down there, and you can find all my social links, my merch store, my store where you can purchase anything tower-related, um, metaphysical, jewelry, even recording equipment if you're thinking about starting your own channel. And my wish list is there, or if you'd like to send it, you can check that out. All right, let's see. So we have here, we have the spirit messages. We have... Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. Wow. Definitely, I think with the seek energy, you definitely the two of you are going to find in each other what you've always been seeking. It, it just may seem a little... Um, challenging at first but did i say the signs over here we got virgo and capricorn i don't know if i remember saying that you may not know their sign maybe you do i don't know but let's see we have listen you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone now is not the time to be offering advice but to be a compassionate listener to listen fully and intently means to pay attention not just to what's being said but what lies beneath the words. So this could be about really listening to what this person has to say um, and maybe not like judging them or contradicting them, whatever the case may be. I think they're going to come to term, I mean, the hermit right here definitely goes in a lot of introspection, figures things out. And I feel like this is going to have like that internal wake up call. You know what? Why would I pass this by? You know, I just can't, you know, be so focused on everything else and not have happiness and love in my life. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before the important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. So, yeah, this is about taking a moment and really listening because I think you're going to know, I mean, trusting your intuition right here, Scorpio, that you feel this good connection. Um, and you may feel that energy from them, like they feel the connection, but then you feel that little resistance because they're like, oh, I don't know if I, you know, I, I got so much, I work so much and I don't really have time. But yet you could tell in their voice, their communication, their actions that, you know, the connection between the two of you is real. And that's what's actually going to win over uh, this connection. All right, let's see. Just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance. So you may, you know, ask for help, assistance, guidance, praying, meditating, uh, sending this person good vibes, energy, healing. Um, and I think they're going to wake up and realize, you know, I need to let this love into my life. That's kind of what I feel here. And receive, yeah, so they're going to receive here. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly 
reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive, just as with the ebb and flow of the tides. The art of giving and receiving is a natural law and order of the universe. Wow. So I think this person is definitely, you know, it may take a little time. They will open up fully to this and let you fully into their life. I, I'm not getting a really, I'm not getting a bad energy from this person. I'm just feeling like they just have some doubts. Like, I don't have time for a relationship but yet the love here i mean we got the ace of cups the king of cups um is going to be undeniable king queen of wands you both could be powerhouses you know in your own right you know leaders entrepreneurs whatever the case may be as well but scorpio if it didn't resonate you can also check out other readings here or if you knew you enjoy this want to check out more popping up here you can check out your march love reading and your march singles reading if you want to check those out as well. But that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.